All right, welcome back to Let's Play Europe Universe Salus 4. We finished up a war with Haichi, and unfortunately didn't take this province, which is something I needed for um, one of the decisions. So I just took the reduced overextension thing. Uh... Yeah, I don't know why that's up there loaded. I have a liberty desire with me. Okay. Uh, yeah, we converted this province. We're syncretic with Confucian, so that's okay. Uh, and we have some claims on Korea. But I'd rather finish coring uh, this stuff first. So let's get out of here, see what our our budget's actually like before we lower our military spending. We have outstripped our rival. <laughs> Apparently we hadn't scored Sakhalin. Makes sense. Okay. Looks good. Gift to the state. Good governance would sometimes prompt the nobility and businessmen of the realm to donate cash to the treasury out of pure patriotism or exchange for sales or transfer of honorary titles and positions. I'll, uh, I'll take the prestige. So Oirat will become a tributary. Okay. Fine. And they have rivaled uh, Chicago, which is Japan. And there we go. Okay. Um, let's do that. Let's pay down our corruption. Because it's at 2. <clears throat> well, 1.7. Nope, we got caught in Korea. And notice it stays there. Alright, uh. Let's start fabricating claims in Haichi, I guess. Since there are only Raver. Alright, so tech-wise, still on tech 3 for admin, That's that needs to change. These are our allies. Oh, it still ticks down. That sucks. Yeah, I I increased autonomy here, so it's not a very valuable island anyway. Yeah, let's encourage them to settle among their peers for now. Um, there we go. Yeah, there seems like you'd never want to pick the one if it's going to be increasing the value of some really good provinces. Yep. Hmm. Okay. If I'm thinking of what I'm going to do to Ming, well, we don't really have any kind of idea of what we're going to do until we uh, 
actually form up our our nation here. Let's get a claim on this first. And there we go. Alright. Yes, unite the Jurchen tribes. I'll do that. Alright, I'm not going to make any more states right now because I want to get my tech, my admin tech. Let's actually focus admin for now. Okay. Um. I don't think that's really doing anything for me. Let's just collect from trade on my own node. I think I'll increase it a little bit. Okay, my truce with Tai Chi will be out in uh, 68. Alright, how tough is Korea? Well, they certainly have fewer guys than me. Um, and I have my super general. I do have a banner I can raise here, but I don't think I have a a spot for it. Yeah, my corruption's almost gone. I have to consider when the uh, this revolt's gonna happen. Two point three years, and it's about the same size as my army, so that's not especially good. that get some more stuff um i don't think there's any more manchu provinces just these two Well, these two are raisable. <clears throat> um, I have to wait till thirty to get the third advisor, or the third um. I saw advisor in the thing. I was like, yeah, I'll say that. Um, to get my third claim on this. So I guess I'll wait. I just need to see. I can build a couple of things. I'm not gonna do it though. Uh, I'm making enough that I could get an advisor. Unrest guy looks 
appropriate. I can't get anything from these these guys, so um, yeah, we'll go for the the unrest guy for now. We'll fire him when we go to war, probably. This will help with this. Eh, it's not helping very much. Yeah, I'm thinking we're probably gonna want the revolt to happen before we uh, go to war with Korea. <clears throat> Can we actually claim this province? Yeah, it's right next there. Okay, we'll do that. Alright. <sighs> no, you give me gifts. You already gave me a gift, actually, so. Uh, yeah, we'll claim that province since it's part of the same state. And can I, actually? I actually can't, because I don't... Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll leave him there. Sieging is probably going to be important. <clears throat> I don't have all that much in the way of... Options here. Alright, let's look. How... Hmm. <clears throat> Obviously, tribal conquest is the... is the choice here. Let's wait for this revolt. Where is that gonna happen? Igen Tuun... So, like, here, basically. Alright. <sighs> Army maintenance up. And here we can get our, our pikes, I guess. thought it was going to be the admin tech, but nope. She's sort of holding taxes. It's my loyalty. Yeah. Uh, we'll take the money. Unfortunately, we don't have a, <clears throat> a fort up here, but maybe we can get there in time. Nah. Yeah, more separatists. Whatever. Hmm. Religious. Uh, the religion of Darren changes to Confucian. Who's Darren? With the marriage between Kung San and his wife Yu Ying, the people of Zhengzhou are experienced an increased fondness for all things Ming. While some cultural exchange was to be expected, expected, especially considering the popularity of the Khanum, it's with alarm that our administrative advisor Yuli Yula Yuya reports that a religious shift has been taking place in one of our provinces. It would seem that the influence of our Ming Khanum trickles down into our subjects' way of worship, as the words of the Confucian believers have converted a surprising amount of people. When confronted about it, Yu Ying shrugs, arguing that she has long since converted to the Tengri faith, and the Khan should know that I had nothing to do with this, she please. She please. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, it changes to convert Confucian anyway. Um, so there's not really any problem, per se. Oh, it's all the way up here. Whatever. There we go. Admin tech. <sighs> yep, 
Yep. Ooh, industrious. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's top off our relations with Ming. Diplomatic insult. Uh, this is with Korea. We'll actually ease the tension, even though I am going to go war with them. Alright, um... How long will it take to get another claim? I don't think that's really, that's really necessary. Can be approved by 32 more. Um. Yeah. All right. Let's turn this fort on. Declare war on Korea. Where's he going? Here. Now we got him. Oh, that's mountains. Oh, that was bad. Okay, maybe it wasn't bad. It wasn't necessarily good, though. <laughs> We don't need a huge amount of war score from this. We're only going to take the provinces we have claims on. Let's go ahead. That. Up here. Let's break the siege, why not? That's better. Um, let's lower the speed, shall we? Okay. I would have liked to get there first, but rolling pretty good. Yeah, I need to take this fort. I 
how's me? How does uh, Korea man have manpower? They have uh, 5,300, so they can replenish a little bit. Um, can I do anything with my estates? I know I can get manpower. I've already done it. No, I need to have loyalty of 50 or greater. Give them money and then get manpower. That's not necessary right now. Um, obviously I don't want to do this. Still, even with their manpower, I can still, um, beat them. Huh. That's not good. Ooh, nice, a wall breach. One of the things you can do after you get artillery is you can uh, do a wall breach thing. It costs you military power. I don't want to do that. Wow, actually they came up with a lot of guys. I'm just going to continue the siege of the fort then. <clears throat> I should have done that initially. That way I could have chased him down here. Another wall breach, excellent. Alright. So once this fort falls, I could probably take the provinces. Now they're they're attacking me here. Alright, let's take our infantry. Consolidate. Go, 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 get him. Roll better. Oh, yeah, we got him. Nice. Where are they going? They're going there. That was actually a pretty close battle. I don't like that. Come on, Siege win! Damn it. I was hoping that would end it. Now they have no manpower, we have no manpower. <clears throat> as long as we can get this fort, we'll be, we'll be in pretty good shape. There we go. Korea, and give me the fort. And that. Do I want that? Probably not. Uh, could take that. Let's just take what we have claims on. Some money. Let's just full consolidate everything. That's that is a mistake, but it will help me replenish my manpower. It's not a mistake. It's it's not optimal since I'm a horde. 
and we'll just increase the autonomy here. Whatever. Right, where do where else do I have unrest? Aichi separatists in Girin. You know what? It's not I have to deal with you. And this is Yeren separatists. That's not gonna be as bad. Okay. That ended up pretty well. Uh, apparently got caught in Haichi. Okay, let's uh, start fabricating claims in Korea some more. Top of our relations with Ming. Okay, 83 power projection. Yep. So the increasing the um, the autonomy in those places actually made it so that uh, I guess I don't need this anymore. Actually made it that oh I, I that was a mistake I should have kept this one and destroyed that one whatever. Uh, what was I saying? Yes. Um, because I increased the autonomy in those provinces, I actually am probably lower on potential manpower and stuff than I was before. Okay. So trends up to 50? Yeah. Cool. We could also spend a little money to do it. Yeah, let's spend a little money. And, uh... Hmm. How many cavalry do I have? I have equal numbers of cavalry and infantry. That's... Pretty much where I want it, right? And I don't want the influence there. Let's do this. Get some manpower back so we can start rebuilding some infantry. Yep. Alright. Um. Yeah, let's do that. That'll give us enough that if we want to raise the host, we can. Counter-espionaging me. Right back at you, buddy. I forgot I didn't need a, uh, a diplomat to do that. Okay. Um, I don't want to forget, so let's improve relations with Oirat. You can get a royal marriage with Oirat. That'll give us an alliance, probably. Yeah. And we can smash Haichi. We're already allied with Bur Buradia. Awesome. Okay. So, let's take a look at... So, Haichi has... Like, nothing! <laughs> wow. Why? And my truce ends with them in eight years.
Okay. <clears throat> Let's lower my military spending. Can't build a spy network until the next month. Why is this, um... Oh, because the other ones are my are my culture. So they're they're going much faster. Yeah. Yeah, that's normal, these are not. So it's actually increasing our trust with Ming. <laughs> Those fools. And luckily this stuff is all Confucian. Which means it's perfectly fine. Since that's syn syncretic. We're only really running into problems when we start getting the Buddhist stuff. Which is like over here. And of course the one... Uh, province we had that was... I don't know. Did they remove the strait here? Was there ever a strait there? I don't know. Fourteen more relations with Ming. Influenza. I probably should have read that event. Uh, whatever. I don't even know what I was looking for there. I was just kind of clicking on the provinces. Alright, so just waiting for those cores to finish. Okay. Then we could probably end the episode at that point. Let me still have this one to, to finish. And after that. And then in seven years, we can declare... Actually, is our truce up with uh, Korea before then? It's at basically at the same time. <laughs> A little later, because we took less provinces. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Alright, so I think that will be good for this episode. I will see you next time on Let's Play Europe Universalis 4, where we will probably uh, just sit around and stabilize for a little bit, maybe fight some rebels, and uh, wait for our truces to go up with our only neighbors. See you next time.